Tax filing season officially opened up a week ago today on February 12th, which means the IRS is now accepting 2020 tax returns. Gilmore Jason Mahler, CPA Charlie Hyde, joins us with some important information as the filing season gets underway. Good morning, Charlie. All Good right. morning. You know, you said because of COVID, everybody should file a tax return this year. So explain everybody. that. Everybody. Yes. So you think about it in the past, there were a lot of individuals because of their income level, they didn't have any kids, they weren't required to file. I mean, it, you know, it was very clear that you weren't required to file a return. What people found out when COVID hit and they started sending out these stimulus packages, they were using the tax returns that people had filed to be able to get the money to individuals. So it's so important that this year, everyone file a 2020 tax return and the reason i say that is you know people maybe didn't get their stimulus payments because the irs didn't have their information to get them those checks that money's still sitting there and you can still claim it oh. um you know and we're, we're even going to talk about the new stimulus coming up uh, and what that could potentially mean as far as why you want to get a return in. Right, you want to make sure you file. They need to have, you know, your your information on to send you that check, right? So you're saying, though, maybe people never got their the previous couple checks that we got, right? They can still get yep. those? Correct. So let's do a quick rehash. So we had back in March when the CARES Act passed, there was a 1200 to $1,800 uh, dollar stimulus. And so two uh, elderly people uh, married uh, should have been able to get about $2,400 in stimulus payment then. And then there was a second round, which you know passed in December of, of 2020, and that was $600 a piece. So there's another 1,200 for that married filing joint couple. But let's say they were, you know, they just never had to file a return in the past uh, because their income, they were collecting social security, wasn't taxable they had a little bit of a pension they wouldn't have even been required to file so for them it's very important that they can you know look at filing for 2020 because if they didn't get those advance payments they can claim them on this year's return there's a new credit out there called the recovery rebate credit that is a refundable credit meaning if even if you have no taxable liability no taxable income guess what you're still going to get a refund for that credit so that's why it's important that those individuals file that 2020 return so what if some folks they got some you know stimulus stimulus money but they didn't get everything yeah. that they were eligible for yeah, that's a great question because when they sent out the advance payments, they made sure that they were using the 18 tax year for that very first one because a lot of people hadn't filed 19 yet. Um, and then, you know, for the later second round, they were using the 19 returns. So here's the thing. Your income may have been higher in 18 and 19 than it was in 20. Well, these those payments were just advances on that new tax credit. So if you file your 2020 return and your income's down and you got maybe partial payment, guess what? Now that your 2020 income's in there and that's what the, the credit is calculated off of, you're going to get the rest of that money. Okay, so it could still be coming to you. Now, last year was just kind of an odd year. So what are some other credits <laughs> that people need to know about? Yeah, so one thing that um, yeah, last year was really an oddity, and let's hope we can uh, move forward from yeah. that. Um, but uh, the one, there's another credit out there, and it's been out there for years, called the Earned Income Tax Credit. Um, and this is really for low to um, you know lower income level people and with kids, and it is a refundable credit that they can get by filing their tax return. I want to make sure that there's going to be a possibility that more people filing in 2020, their income's going to be down because they've been laid off, um, you know, and there's going to be more people that will be eligible for that credit and they may aren't even aware of it. So I just want to make sure people keep that in mind and when they're talking to their tax advisor um, or they're doing it themselves and I will point out and I wanted to say this again there if you go out to the IRS website 
free file right on their front, you know, when you go to their website, and it gives you all of these various tax services like TurboTax or H&R Block, that if your income levels below a certain threshold, which I believe is 72,000, you can file for free. Mm -hmm. And that would be a great way for these people to make sure yeah. that they get all the credits that they're eligible to get. Yeah, and take it, take advantage of all of that. Yep. Get your money, right? <laughs> Correct. Yeah. All right, Charlie, great advice. Thanks for joining us this morning.